Hey guys, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Today, we're doing some cool chemistry. If you remember high school chemistry, and if you were like me, and you were saying through the course of the class, what are we doing? If you were saying, I will never use this in real life, I have to apologize. Mr. Bell, I'm sorry. Today, I am using chemistry in my work. So what we're doing is we're going to take a piece of galvanized metal and we're going to age it and we're going to do it really quickly. Normally the aging process you see like on old chicken houses and stuff it takes months or years uh, to develop that patina. We're going to impart that patina to this new metal like that. Well not like that. It's going to take a few hours but we're going to do it chemically and so I'm going to share that with you. Our main component of this whole process is going to be muriatic acid. You can get this at Home Depot. Now this muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid. That's what it is. So we're going to be pouring or we're going to be brushing hydrochloric acid onto this galvanized metal. The galvanized metal is, is a piece of metal which we want normally as a roofing material. We don't want it to age and discolor. So it's coated with zinc. Now zinc doesn't oxidize. So we put the zinc on the metal, then it doesn't allow the metal to oxidize or rust. Oxidize is, is rusting. So we don't want the metal to rust. Today, we do want it to rust. We do want it to age. So we want to strip that zinc off of it. And we're going to do it with the hydrochloric or the, with the muriatic acid. Having said that, let me just whoosh, slow down for just a minute and remind you guys, we're working with chemicals. We're working with hydrochloric acid. This is some funky stuff. Uh, it can be mildly caustic. It can burn you. Uh, you don't want to breathe the gas in. It's going to give off a gas. And since I didn't do very well in chemistry, I can't tell you what gas it is. But it's probably a zinc oxide a zinc chloride, some kind of gas like that, along with a hydrogen gas, which if you're a smoker, put your cigarette out. You should put it out anyway, but put your cigarette out because this is going to give off a hydrogen gas as a byproduct of the chemical reaction. And hydrogen gas is highly flammable. Anyway, put your cigarette out. Don't do it out by bonfire, you know. Anyway, stay away from open, open flames. Uh, be smart about it. Slow down. Don't be a dumbo. Wear your safety stuff. I'm going to be wearing nitrile gloves and stuff over my eyes and a mask and all. So we just want to make absolutely sure we don't do anything dumb. With that, now let's get back to having fun. So I'm going to head out to the yard and I'm going to show you how we do this. It's going to be very cool. Very cool. All right. All righty. So here we are set up out here i've got four sheets to do so i got them set up out here on some pallets i'm out away from the grass because this may kill the grass i got about a half of a five gallon bucket of water my muriatic acid a glass dish a chip brush a cup of coffee of course my nitrile gloves and a little uh, dust mask Let's get at it. So what I'm going to do, pour this into the glass dish, then, you'll and you'll see me do this, but I'm going to explain it to you real quick, then I'm going to brush it on. Once I get a coating of it on, and it is, it'll go quick, then I'm going to, I'm going to splatter it on there in kind of an organic, random, natural looking pattern. Alrighty, here we go. This is going to strip the, uh, the zinc off and then we'll move on to step two. Ready. 
So the four sheets are done with the muriatic acid application. So you can see how it's it's eating it away. It's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. But now this is just step one. This is gonna be awesome. This is awesome, awesome. Ooh, look at this over here. So you can see where I sat the bowl down there, it left a ring. It's kind of cool. Frankly, when the chemical reaction takes place, once all of the reactive material is used up, then the inert stuff is just left. However, just because I say it's inert, I don't want to go stick my finger in it. I'm going to let this sit about an hour. I just want to make absolutely sure that everything that can react does react. And then I'm going to come out here and uh, I'm just going to wash it off with the water hose. The water will dilute it and it'll be fine. And then we'll move on to stage two, um, which is going to really apply some character. Hey, I tell you what, I'm going to break this up into two videos and I'm going to end this here and we'll come back and do part two a little bit later. I'll post it later today. All right. Awesome. Mm, I love it.